two words on everyone's mind, climate change. I don't think we live in times that uh, are particularly kind to objective information. But the hypothesis here is shale gas is better for global warming than other fossil fuels and it's a good transitional fuel. So we, we tested that and the answer is well, no, it's not. The White House has clearly bought into this idea that natural gas is part of the solution to moving us gradually off of fossil fuels. Uh, I don't think they did that with good science. We estimate that somewhere between uh, 3.6 and 7.9 percent of the total amount of gas produced over a lifetime of a well is emitted to the atmosphere as methane. There's continual leakage at the wellhead, there's uh, leakage from the storage and processing facilities, purposeful venting, also accidental leaks. You throw it into the pipeline systems and the distribution systems and storage systems. There's leakage in all of those. Global warming is caused by greenhouse gases emitted from fossil fuel burning. When you burn coal, you get a lot of CO2. When you burn natural gas, you get about half as much. But methane is the second most important greenhouse gas, and it's 105 times more potent at trapping heat in the short 20-year time frame. Bob Howarth's research shows when you add up the methane escaping into the atmosphere, the fugitive emissions, and the CO2 from frack gas, it makes it the worst fuel for global warming. Uh, there's only one planet. You know, we're doing the experiment now of how global warming is going to work. We're sitting in this bowl. You know, there's, we're down here at the bottom and the climate goes back and forth within some regime year by year. The worry is that in warming you're going to switch up and go over into some other bowl over here and you'll have a dramatically different planet. And that once you switched from this stable regime over to there, there's no easy way to get back. You don't suddenly start reducing your greenhouse gas emissions and go back up over this hill back to the way things used to be. You're over there in, in a new universe. If you believe that we might be approaching a tipping point over the next couple of decades, then you need to be really careful about pumping methane, that's such a potent greenhouse gas in this short time frame, in, into the atmosphere. Frank Finnan, a woodworker near Dimmick, surrounded by gas wells, bought a FLIR camera, a camera that can see methane undetectable to the naked eye. When I heard that for the first time, I said, who is this guy? He bought a FLIR camera? Is he out of his mind? Yeah, I was. That... I was out of my mind. <clears throat> Things like this will put you out of your mind. He started to discover what Bob Howarth had calculated. Methane exploding into the air in huge clouds out of fracking sites. And America, to me, was like Disneyland compared to the rest of the world. And now it's not anymore. For some people, it still is. For some people, we're just a story in the news. <laughs> You know, I'm a woodworker. Why does a woodworker have all this equipment? So don't, don't tell me this is not your job. Yeah. Step out of your box. Um, go where you've never been before. Yeah. The, the, the times have changed. One night, I went out with him, but this time, we didn't need the flare camera. Oh, dude, it's right behind somebody's house. This is what Bob was talking about. Methane venting straight up into the atmosphere. There had to be a better way. <laughs> 